Two years ago, Deb Kelly's life took a dramatic turn. She lost her arms and then her legs to an invasive form of strep. We first shared you her story of loss and triumph with you exclusively last night at 11. And tonight, Deb takes yet another step forward. As CBS 17's Maggie Newland shows us, she got to meet the dozens of doctors, nurses, and support staff who helped transform her life. Oh, it's so good to see you. Deb Kelly spent a lot of time as a patient at Duke University Hospital, but this time she was the guest of honor. I like to talk with my hands. Three months after she became the first person in the state to receive a bilateral hand transplant, Deb and her family got to meet the entire team that made the operation possible. I met so many people that were behind the scenes that I was out of it when they were with me, uh, so it was really wonderful. Deb regularly sees Dr. Linda Sandalis, who led the transplant team, but this was her chance to thank the dozens of doctors, nurses, anesthesiologists, and many more who gave her back so much of her independence. I was one of the first faces that Deborah Kelly saw when she rolled into the OR. Yes, I do remember. When Deb came in for the Thanksgiving Day surgery, she'd been without hands since the spring of 2017, when an infection forced doctors to amputate her hands and legs. But everyone who worked on Deb's surgery was struck by her positive attitude and concern for everyone else. She said, I feel so bad you guys are here on Thanksgiving and you should be with your families. And kind of everybody in the room just together looked at her and was like, no, like, don't, don't feel that way, please. I'm so grateful to everyone involved. And the team at Duke is grateful to see the impact of their work. Oh, our nurses, we don't really see our patients when they leave. To come back months later and to see Deborah Kelly with her hands and to see her story and to hear family members speak about it is such an honor to be a part of that. She's an incredible human being. We saw that before the, she went in for the transplant and to see her today is just unbelievable for us. And even though some had just formally met for the first time, the group picture felt a little like a family photo. Maggie, she looks fantastic. Doesn't she? And she said today she's making progress every day. Just today she got some feeling in part of her wow. hand that she didn't have yesterday. Oh. Little chill bumps here in those stories, Maggie. Just incredible. And